video will discuss about macroganathia so as the name suggests we come to know that it is basically uh, the presence of abnormally large jaws now it can affect both the jaws simultaneously but it affects one jaw mostly now uh, coming on to the etiological causes now etiological causes are very easy to remember if you uh, use a bit of understanding so first of all we see that in pituitary gigantism microgonathia is there then paget's disease now this occurring in adults acromegaly then we have hereditary causes like mandibular progonathism then we have leontiasis osseous now what is this this is a form of uh, fibrous dysplasia which, which we will cover in uh, bone pathologies so this is a form of fibrous dysplasia in which what we see is that uh, there are uh, lion like faces also uh, what we see is uh, that there is a enlargement of maxilla in this okay now coming on to why does mandibular uh, pro, uh, mandibular microgonathia happen now the causes of my, uh, mandibular microgonathia now uh, it is very obvious if there will be a decrease in the maxillary length okay if the opposite jaw is smaller now if there will be an increase in the length of the body of mandible or if the maxilla is positioned posteriorly in relation to the cranium in relation to cranium okay now if maxilla is positioned posteriorly so mandible will be more anteriorly right so we will see that there is mandibular macrogonathia uh, also if there is a prominence of chin button wearing soft tissue contours then if there is increase in gonial angle also if there is anterior positioning of glenoid fossa now uh, coming on to the types as we discussed before as well in microgonathia there is always going to be a true type and there is going to be a false type now in true type what you see is there are abnormally large now why does uh, uh, it happen is due to these reasons now in clinical features what you will see is you will see a mandibular protrusion and very characteristic feature that you need to remember is gummy smile okay also in falls what you will see is that the normal sized jaw that will look larger if the opposite jaw is smaller okay or if it is placed more posteriorly as i mentioned here now uh, or if there is a steep angle between the ramus and the body of mandible also uh, there will be chin prominence now what is the treatment what we do is uh, there we can do only surgical correction so osteotomy